We're talking the character that's taking Marvel by storm, Miss America Chavez. And I'm talking to Benedict Cumberbatch and Benedict Wong of Marvel's Doctor Strange. That's two Benedicts. Two Benedicts. No, that's four. You just did four. Two Benedicts on the web. <laughs> the Big Marvel, Marvel Show. Show. I'm Ryan. And we've had some really big stuff going on here at Marvel. I got to sit down with the new writer of America, Miss Gabby Rivera. Yeah. I'm so I'm super excited. Yeah, America features the amazing character, America Chavez. That's right. Let's take a look at that interview right now. Let's look. I'm here with Gabby Rivera, writer of America <laughs> number one, coming out very soon. I love Miss. America. What has it been like taking on that book and and where is she going? Ah, it's been so <laughs> amazing. Mm -hmm. Um and it's been like just this beautiful moment to tell a wild ass story. Yeah. You know, like she is taking control of her agency and mm -hmm. her destiny and deciding like to invest more time in figuring out how to better her powers, better herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I she's going for it. That's such a cool story right now because I think women are feeling really excited and, and empowered. Definitely. Uh, and I can't wait to see that. You've been working with Joe Canonis, who a lot of you guys might know from his work with Howard the Duck as well as many other things. He's very talented. <laughs> yeah. uh, what has the collaboration been like? Because you originally came from a YA background. Yes. And you're delving into comics. How's that going? It's going so amazingly. First of all, this team with Will and um, with Joe has just been, they're so chill and they're so <laughs> encouraging and mm. like inspiring. Every idea that I've shared with them, they've been like, oh, this is great, you know? Mm. So when we were talking about the covers, um, I kicked over some like formation inspiration, some Beyonce stuff. Yeah. I mean, Which all of that. Beyonce I mean, blew up the internet with Marvel. <laughs> like that that cover that's an ode to lemonade is mm -hmm. the best thing. It, it is. The it's best like thing. when I first saw it, I got those like electric goosebumps, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know. I, I saw that uh, poster come out or that cover come out and it immediately was everyone in my feed's uh, oh, icon. Amazing. I was like, okay, this is a thing now. Um, and I think it gets everybody, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, not everybody, obviously, but it is that moment of like intersectional feminism, you yes. know, where that comes from the art of like a proud black woman, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like giving us her statement for this country. So like... I don't know, it's that power too, you know? I dig it, I dig <laughs> it so much. Uh, so that takes me to a little game we're gonna play. Uh, so everybody knows that America likes to punch problems. <laughs> that is something that she is just like really good oh, at. Oh yeah, America, okay. okay. America. <laughs> <laughs> That was not meant to be a social commentary. <laughs> All right, here we yes, go. Yes, yes, yes. She loves to punch things. So, Miss America Chavez loves to punch things. Um, and we're gonna ask, to punch or not to punch? That is the question. I'm gonna give you an item, something, and you're gonna say whether you think Miss America would punch it or not punch it. Okay, okay. let's do it. Puppies. She would not punch puppies. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to give you a softball. Uh, parking tickets. She would punch parking tickets, but not people giving out parking tickets. Good distinction. Yeah. <laughs> uh, super villains. Definitely. Multiple, okay. multiple, multiple punches. <laughs> uh, adorable children. Never. Okay. Uh, Microaggressions. Always. <laughs> Micro pigs. Oh no, never, never, never. Bagels. <laughs> if they're not from New York, she's going to punch the bagel. Solid yeah. choice. Agree. <laughs> uh, crowded subway cars. Too many people. She's not going to hurt people. If it's full of super villains, then definitely major punches. Oh, that would be a bad scene. Yeah. All right, making the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. She would she just get it. rid of that bed. <laughs> yeah. Decimated. <laughs> um, how about a hole puncher? <laughs> <laughs> no, but she'd have one that would punch stars. Oh, I love it. Uh, how about a punching bag? Definitely. How about punch the beverage? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> the punch. Good old oh, oh. punch. <laughs> <laughs> no. She would not punch the punch. She would not ruin the party. There you go. America's a party. Check out that comic in stores. Thank you so much for joining of us. Of course. Thank you for having me. And where can people check it out online? At Quirky Recon on Twitter and Instagram. You guys, check it out. <laughs> Gabby seems super cool. She is. 
So uh, what boring thing were you doing while I was doing my awesome interview with Gabby Rivera? Um, I mean, no big deal. Was, you know, I was just, I went to London to interview Benedict Cumberbatch and what? Benedict Wong, what? the totally mystical Benedicts of Marvel's Doctor <laughs> Strange. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of them. Wait, you know what? Somewhere. Let's watch this. Okay. The idea is alien race or cheese. <laughs> Very nice. Here we go. Caroline. Is that a cheese or is that a character? Is it an alien race or a cheese? It's a it's an alien race. Yes. Uh, so see a cheese? Yes. Yes. Delicious. Yeah. Uh, Cutterback is a quarterback. Um, no, I'm joking. Uh, Cutterback. Gosh, that's a good one. I don't know. I'd say alien race. Yes, correct. Brood. Alien race. Alien race is correct. Domiati. Sounds a lot like Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> or a little bit, hardly. But could easily be a cheese. Could be both. Is it both? Not according to my record. It's alien here. race. Is an alien race type of cheese? No, um, <laughs> I'm gonna say cheese. You're correct. How about the Acanti? The Acanti is a, uh, a wine and a cheese. <laughs> Chitari. I'm gonna say no, alien race. Alien race. Correct, race. from Marvel's The Avengers before. Eek. I should have remembered that. <laughs> that's, that's all right. Cotati. Yes, that's uh, a nice cheese, I'm thinking. Uh, it's an alien oh. race. Uh, they were, their planet was destroyed and the entire race was exterminated uh, by a group called the Halmat. Well, people did find that they tasted really nice <laughs> on They probably were, yeah. <laughs> Quesillo? Cheese. Yes. Is it yak cheese or something? So it's from the town of Guamo, it's wrapped in a plantain leaf. Is it now? Yeah. Doesn't make you run faster by any chance, does it? I don't know. It's not that kind of cheese. Okay, can move on. <laughs> How about? Oh yeah, come well. on. <laughs> Blocks of it, cheese. <laughs> That's either all questions I've ever had. Okay, I'll admit that that was pretty cool, but I honestly thought it was kind of like cheesy. Because of Billy <laughs> Razor Cheese, get it? It's cheesy. <laughs> you can ignore me all you want, it's time for social hour. <laughs> And now it's time for Social Hour, where we take your tweets and your YubTub comments right here on Twelfth the Big Mama Show. Yeah. Uh, Oliver Linklater on the YouTubes, he says, Guardians of the Galaxy hype, who's with me? What, what? That's our hype noises. Uh, our, you should be like a hype man for Guardians of the Galaxy. You got that Groot? Like, what about Rocket? It's disturbing, but I feel good about it. Ego! Uh, anyway, on to <laughs> Fallen Angel on YouTube says, Howard the Duck is one of my favorite comic characters, and that's all because of Chip Zdarsky. Love Aww. that man. And then there's like a little cat face. It's really cute. Chip Zdarsky was our Valentine. He's on our Valentine's Day episode. Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah. for love. Yeah. Uh, Lego Ghost Rider on the YouTube says, I can see you guys are getting ready for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Dose. In oh, Spanish. Oh man, you better believe it. Oh, it's so soon now. So soon. So soon. Like tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Uh, maybe no. I'm seeing it next no, week, who knows? <gasps> Florian Hunter on YouTube says, I think the Guardians of the Galaxy would throw the best party, and what? I think playing board games against Thanos would be fun. That sounds super great. But he he's would gonna be, cheat. Yeah, I was gonna say he's be the worst sport oh like gosh. of anyone. He would be just like, no, give me more Monopoly money. It's online. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. All right. Uh, and last on Twitter, Nate Towson says, yesterday I heard a guy call this show Thwap, and I was so mad I almost whammed him. Wouldn't you whim him? Because <laughs> if he thwip, thwap, thwim, thwap. I was thinking he was gonna give him a wham record, and which would have been great, and everybody is happy, and everybody loves good music. Oh, that's so nice. You should wham a friend. I don't. Wham all your friends. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, that's it for Thwip the Big Marvel Show. Tell us, uh, if, would you give them a wham record or a wham in the face down below? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lorraine. I'm Ryan. And this is Marvel. Your wham. <laughs> If you like this, please like this and subscribe to the Marvel channel. Or watch the last episode right there. So, Ryan, mm. um, you got to be both Benedicts. Yeah. If you were going to fight them against each other, like Highlander style, for domination, Ooh. would you die? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? The best part of um, I did another game with them, they wanted to team up. They had no desire to fight each other. They're like the best friends. Aww. They are awesome and super fun together. They're you great. You would definitely die. Oh yeah, no, I'm already dead. I'm a ghost. Ooh.